Tampa, they have made an arrest in a deadly subway stabbing spree. They say the suspected killer confessed to the crimes, and now there is a call for increased policing and mental health services. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez reports. Local politicians and community leaders held a vigil outside the 207th Street train station in Inwood to honor the homeless New Yorkers killed and injured during a weekend stabbing spree along the A train line. The people who died and were attacked in our communities did not need to meet that tragic fate. This system, our current system, has failed them. On Saturday, police arrested 21 year old Rigoberto Lopez, a homeless man whom prosecutors say confessed to using this knife to stab four people within just 14 hours beginning Friday morning into Saturday. Two men survived, one man and woman died. 44 year old Claudine Roberts' body was discovered on a train at the 207th Street station. Prosecutors say Lopez stabbed her seven times in the chest, abdomen, and arm. Her father, Winston Roberts, says his daughter was homeless, hospitalized for her mental illness, and released just days before her murder. He says the city didn't do enough to help her. They need to fix the problem, and they're not doing it. On Saturday, the NYPD added 500 uniformed police officers to patrol the subway system. The MTA is calling on Mayor de Blasio and Police Commissioner Dermot Shea to add an additional 1,000 officers to the Transit Bureau to patrol subways and buses. We also need more mental health resources from the city of New York dedicated to address the growing crisis facing the city. Suspect Rigoberto Lopez has a criminal record and a history of mental illness. He made his first court appearance this morning facing murder and attempted murder charges. He's being held without bail. In the Inwood section of Manhattan, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News.